Hello, friends. I should probably start now. On the other hand, this gentle sax is so enticing, so delightful. Also, my stupid fucking incompetent of a dentist put a crown on backwards, so my mouth feels weird and wrong and my teeth don't fit together, which hopefully won't impact me talking more over the next two hours than I have in the last two days. But we can find out. So, if everyone's sitting comfortably, we may as well begin. All of this was simpler than it had to be. Anyway, so in exchange for soft sax, we are now having jaunty, noodly guitar sounds. Uh, Sonic Stokabe. Sounds like the right file. We're going to pick up pretty much exactly where we left off, which is to say Sonic the Hedgehog. I think he's got like one or two Let's levels left to play through. Audio Bacon would either be really, really bad uh, audio audio mixing software, or it would be the single greatest open source tool that anyone's ever created. Audio Bacon is the kind of name that someone who has, you know, single-handedly created a, a, a keystone component that is used uh, across the industry would, would name it. You know, I'm thinking of a, of a large bearded man who knows a lot about real ale. Okay, my stream manager is already beginning to uh, lose connection, which is irritating for me personally. Because yet again, despite promising almost every session to A, and set up my secondary screen as a stream manager instead of using my mobile telephone, and B, actually do some research on the, the history of the Sonic franchise rather than just remembering on my own great but only half-remembered levels of detail. Considering Eggman's got this whole egg-themed vibe, like he names his thing Egg Whatever, even though he didn't choose the name Eggman and resents, as far as I can tell, Sonic designating him Eggman, he does have this eggy theme. Does that mean that we can call this interesting device his overpositor? Let's gently crawl inside Eggman's overpositor. Oh, that was fast, actually. <laughs> well, gee, why did I expect some kind of an animation? This looks like an upgraded version of Metal Sonic, one of the iconic creatures from the previous Sonic of Hedgehog games. But this looks like a roboticizer, which will turn... Oh, hey, that's, that's classic Metal Sonic. I really like the design of the original Metal Sonic. He's just like normal Sonic, but streamlined. This feels like a puzzle. Oh, is it one of these puzzles? Okay. Oh, I'm so terrible at solving these ones. Ah! The number of times. Oh, I have to... Do I have to light them all up? That would make sense. So each one flips the one next to it, I guess. I tend to just hit everything and hope. Well, that, actually, that should do it. Or did I need to light them all up? Hmm. The mysteries of Eggman's egg managing machine? His, uh, magic bean machine. Elude me. What's this green thing? Anyway, I'm Loki out of my mind because my, because of my aforementioned incompetent dentist. Denk, denk, tist. My incompet, my incompetent. They're incompetent. Delightful. Anyway, so Sonic the Hedgehog. He's uh, a hedgehog, and he moves really fucking fast. I mean, I could light them all up, actually, if I just... That was way easier than I was making it. <laughs> it. Turns out, sometimes problems have extremely easy solutions. 
This is something that I'm sure Sonic should have learned in his life by now, because most of his solutions involve hitting things, usually with his forehead. Hey, let go. Like so. Oh, I should save the tiny animal. <laughs> you know, not Sonic the Hedgehog the tiny animal, a different tiny animal. Do you know, I find myself completely with no idea what to say. Not normally, uh, ow, fuck. Not normally smacking my hand on the microphone. You know, I, I obtained a nice, lovely, not expensive at all, but still better than nothing. Uh, microphone stand doodad, and here I am, slapping it around anyway. But yeah, so this is the the final stage of, of Sonic's story, his his chapter of the story, his version of the story, in this odd Rashomon style game where you play through the same story from several different people's different points of view and get their own different opinions on who said what at what time, and then at the end you have to figure out who did a murder or something. I don't know, I haven't seen Rashomon. Which I'm sure will scandalise all of the those of you who know I'm a total sued. After all, I did set up all of my channels with the idea that I would be some kind of, um, you know, critic or some kind of personage who knows more or less what's what when it comes to literary and, and film aspirations and especially be Oh, I can just smash these? No one told me I could just smash these. I suppose I should have just been uh, a little bit more engaged in Sonic the Hedgehog's instinctual destructive impulses. Um, which is fair, actually. I've been experiencing a lot of instinctual destructive impulses lately, as I watch the world be terrible. Huh. Was I meant to come down here? I assume so, at some point. <laughs> ah! For once, falling off a big thing has proven to be useful and lucky instead of a terrible disaster. I take it back, it was a terrible disaster. I do like that uh, Dr. Robotnik is engaging in the traditional evil super scientist's pastime of having um, just vast, vast reams of machinery that serves no real observable purpose. Uh, except to be a credible threat to whatever, you know, hypersonic hedgehog happens to be. Your, um, personal nemesis. Should he somehow become lost? Not unlike a real hedgehog? Oh, interesting. Cool. Uh, weird. Not unlike a real hedgehog might. Like, I don't know if you've ever, ever seen what happens to real hedgehogs, but they do have a habit of you know, crawling into places they shouldn't be and dying and stinking up your whole house. Uh, I sound like I'm speaking from experience, but I'm actually not. Fuck. No! So I'm going to be missing out on a lot of what chat says today because my chat stream manager thingy is now the single worst it's ever been and it won't stay connected for more than two minutes. My phone was willing to stay connected to the internet before I set it to this task. I don't exactly know what its deal is or what its problem is seems to be. Uh, so, I guess it's just even more of an incentive to do that thing that I keep forgetting I should do. This is pretty classic Sonic platforming just as translated to 3D. Like, um, I mean it's stop and start, but it's stop and start in the way that uh, Sonic platformers have often been stop and start, so it's less of a, less of a problem. Aha, uh -huh, a shortcut. Oh, that's not a shortcut, that took me back to exactly where I was. That's if anything, it's not even the opposite of a shortcut, it's the absence of either shortcut or not shortcut. I'm not sure about the ontology of shortcuts. But you know, having a nice little palette cleanser moment to, you know, bounce around and just take in the scenery while doing relatively precision platforming is fine, like, there's no reason not to have that. The problem is when that is the entire basis of the entire zone you're in, which... Hmm. Level 2 isolation walls, you say? Those sound more important than the other kinds of isolation walls. 
<laughs> the world's slowest death trap. It's a giant hammer. Does it move very fast? No, but you would not believe the torque that thing can put out. No! Yeah, you would. Wow, this stream manager is now officially a goddamn joke. What's wrong with my goddamn telephone? Literally, it will it will connect to the internet unless I am using mobile live dashboard. It doesn't make any sense. Who invented this thing? Entertainingly, if I alt tab, I can see everything everyone is saying. However, if I don't alt tab, alt tab, no idea, not a clue. So, I guess I'm basically just going to have to wander around and mumble in my own idiosyncratic way and not listen to anything chat says today, which is going to be going to make it awkward if I run into another thing where I was stuck, like I did last stream, with an incredibly irritating. Uh, what was it the worst level in the game, or generally widely considered to be such? This one seems fine, though, for the most part, for all that I keep dying terribly. I wonder why the Naruto run took off as the as the term for running like this. Sonic the Hedgehog's been running like that for honestly a lot longer. When did Naruto start to become a popular uh, popular thing? in the eyes of middle schoolers. Hmm. Whereas Sonic's been doing it literally since this game, which was, what, 2001, 2002, something like that. Hmm. Looks like we went up to go down. I suppose it's not unreasonable if you are an evil super scientist uh, who does expect, to some extent, people to try and stop them. That you would fill your fill your death egg with uh, various death traps of various deathly and deadly varieties, various nefarious creations, and ah, dip! I died again. No! This reminds me of the the late levels of the sequel. Um, which involve uh, grinding on rails in orbit, pretty much. My brothers and I eventually figured out that you could have, um, that you could, like, basically skip most of the entire level by jumping in certain places and falling what looked like far enough to die terribly. Uh, except luckily, something the hedgehog doesn't take falling damage, which... I suppose stands to reason, you know, he's all about that momentum, right? Who cares whether it's up or horizontal? X or Y be- Ah, oh, fuck off! No! X or Y, I'm all good baby, is what I was gonna say. Which would be a very fitting point for me- place for me to pop up that- Oh, wow, I didn't know him. What is it? Whoa, he's bisexual, I didn't know that meme, which is for some reason a Sonic the Hedgehog meme. I don't know- I do not know why. This is getting cartoonish. I woke up today and decided that I was going to suck at video games. This is definitely an intentional and rational decision that I've made and not some kind of inexplicable curse that's been afflicted on me, possibly due to constant and inescapable tooth pain. Does this work in a circle? Oh, it does. That's cool. Nice to see that for the first time there are some actual handrails in this uh, disaster zone, which is something I complain about whenever I visit an evil scientist laboratory in any video game. This lift very much has the energy of uh, a Flintstones animal, what are they even called, like appliance. It extremely feels like it's about to go, well it's a living. Oh, I love I love Sonic the Hedgehog's uh, understanding of gravitational momentum and uh, slingshot theory and stuff. Hmm. 
Hmm, there sure are a lot of lives and rings in this room. Makes me wonder if this might be close to the final boss in some way. Bobbly bum bing bum. Why? Why would you choose that sound effect for explosions? It doesn't sound like explosions, it sounds like porridge. Hmm. To be honest, Sonic doesn't really have any idea, narratively, why he's doing any of the things he's doing, which is normally a complaint about a protagonist when I make it, but <clears throat> they tried pretty hard to make it clear that he's an absolute moron. After all, he apparently doesn't remember who Eggman his, uh... <laughs> I guess Nemesis? Let's go with Nemesis. Is. He doesn't remember screwing over all of Eggman's various, uh, nefarious egg plans over the past, what, I suppose like a year or two? No! no! The real trick to being good at video games is to, every time you get a 1-up, immediately kill yourself so that you can just prove you're really good at the game because you don't need any more 1-ups. <laughs> like so. Anyway, porridge doesn't explode a lot, I'm just very bad at making it. Boinky bouncy boink. I, straight up, I'm not entirely sure how you're supposed to get that second life in that room without dying. Uh, it is. This is a very imprecise platformer, you don't have a ton of control over where you land. So I, I would be impressed by anyone who could actually consistently land a... Hmm, interesting. Green kangaroo. Anyway, someone who can consistently land a... On... What the fuck am I even saying? Consistently land on that tiny weird spa. Not gonna lie, I do like the invincibility music. Also, a lot of the music in this game slaps, but this is really funky. <laughs> ah yeah, I love investments. Time to stand here and collect the residuals of falling down a hole. Bimbity bomb bing bong. Aha, rockets. The solution to all of nature's little mysteries. I'm actually really looking forward to the sequel. I know I have like a whole like six more versions of this game to play through before I can play the sequel, but uh, the sequel is the sequel is the one that I really remember fondly from my childhood because that's the one I played obsessively because I never played this one as I mentioned on literally every stream of this game that I have done so far. I am finding myself delighted by a lot of oh <sighs> tell you what I'm not delighted by the camera doing that shit to me constantly. What I am delighted by is the uh, just. I'm delighted by the attempt. I think this really could have worked if they just actually stuck to the parts of the design that worked really well. Big, open, linear levels where you zoom around at the speed of sound. Um, you know, semi, semi, semi one dimensional, like, um, or I guess two dimensional. But in absence of such, I am finding the rest of the game charming. A lot of the music is charming, a lot of the writing is extremely bad, but in a very entertaining way. A lot of the music is great fun. Um, anyway, let's see, is it gonna do it? Is it gonna fuck me again? Nearly. Right, where's this go? I demand more lives. Oh, hell yeah. What shape is this supposed to be? I thought it might have been Eggman's logo, but it doesn't look like it. Hmm. Hi, Antslayer. It is indeed Sonic! 
Oh, it was Sonic's face? Why is there why is there an ar array of rings in Sonic's face inside the death egg? <laughs> oh, that's fucking creepy. <laughs> is this the training range for new robots so that they know who to murder? Or is this some kind of um, old school witchcraft momet? Did I just kill Tails? Bonk. Boof. What a strange thing to find. One addition that the sequel makes that I think this game really needed and doesn't have is the uh, extremely enjoyable combo multiplier. Um, yes. Oh, that's it? This is just the end? I thought I was going somewhere. This is just... This is nothing. What is this? Yeah, not bad. Yeah, not bad. Literally the worst I can possibly do, just like every other uh, score I've gotten on every other level, but sure. Cutscene Sonic the Hedgehog is the world's slowest Sonic the Hedgehog. Well, if it isn't my pal Sonic. <gasps> Low poly Eggman! Low poly Eggman! Low poly Eggman! Can I have. Low poly Eggman! I want to see more Low poly Eggman! Right there, Eggman. Ah, Low poly Eggman! Is it just me, or is this one of the worst put-together cutscenes in this entire game? It almost looks like... Now that I think about it, it almost looks like uh, unfinished footage. His animations are way less detailed, and his uh, rendering is less detailed as well. That's so strange. Hmm. Get a load at this. No, Eggman, please, I don't want your loads. Get a load at this. No. <laughs> See if you can make it through here, Sonic. Oh, that probably would have been the opportunity for me to lay the smackdown on his face. Bonk, 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 <sighs> boing. Why, it's just like every other Eggman boss fight in the entire franchise. Get a load of this. Why would they re-implement an unfinished cutscene? Uh, if it's not, like, without finishing the damn thing. Oh, now that I think about it, though, this looks a hell of a lot like... You can make it through here, Sonic. A, this looks a hell of a lot like some of the bosses from the 2D games back in the day, except translated to a 3D concept, which is actually really delightful. Get a load of this. Um, it makes me think of... Get even the, like, the, the shape and noises that the lasers make make me think a lot of several of the bosses from Sonic 2. No! No. no. I do like that Sonic's uh, upset by something terrible happening. Noise is very much just a kind of a, a flat affect this. no. Get a load of this. Sonic! Do you want a cup of tea? See no. You can make it through here, Sonic. Bounce. If I were Eggman, I simply were, would not put highly explodable um, weak points on the front of my uh, death contraption that allow a small hedgehog to bounce along them in order to murder me in the face. But yeah, I'm reminded of um, specifically the Oil Ocean boss and uh, a couple of other bosses from Sonic 2. See if you can make it through here, Sonic. Why does he? Why does the design of your of your death viper necessitate to use the big laser? You have to open up the cockpit and provide a bridge towards you. This seems ultimately detrimental to you, Eggman. Like I'm not a I'm not a big boy scientist, but like literally, literally he emerges like some kind of. You know, chest-bound secondary parasite. 
who just sort of gently splutes out with a nice convenient like treasure trail right up to his face oh oh this is new <laughs> it's no use give up it's no use give up there's a sort of a strange, almost, absence to his dialogue. Like, obviously, it's all just combat barks, but he doesn't even really sound... Hmm. I don't know. Oh, it might be the repetition of it, and it might be... The, uh, you know, the fact that, like most uh, audio in games, it hasn't been... What do you call it? Uh, oh, right! Boomerangs come backwards. Uh, it hasn't been uh, altered to match the. Get on the spinning needle. No. <laughs> Get on the spinning needle. No, I refuse. Also, hang on a second. I went to the temple and I still never found it. That entire temple. I've just realised the temple chapter had me go through the entire ch temple and out the other side, and I learnt nothing the entire time I was in there. I didn't see another goddamn. I'm going to say human being, but, you know, animal person to talk to to explain what's going on. There was no magic spirit that explained what was happening. Wow, if I fuck this up two more times, I'm going to have to start over. You know, if he didn't want people to call him Eggman, he probably shouldn't have named all of his contraptions after eggs. It could have been Viper's Egg instead of Egg Viper. Is that cooler? I can't tell anymore. <laughs> See if you can make it through here, Sonic. The magic spirit introduced a flashback? Did I miss that? Did I forget that there was a flashback? Or did I skip the cutscene? Or does that happen to another character and we'll see it later? Because I assume Oh wait, no, I remember the flashback now. The single the single grimmest thing that's ever happened in a Sonic the Hedgehog game. So you're right, that is the case. I was expecting the magic spirit to turn out to have been Tikal all along, though. Which I suppose may still be the case. But, um... It either speaks to how debilitated I've been recently, or to how fucking nonsense and unintelligible the plot of this game is, that I could not remember, one way or the other. Alright, egg boy, show me your face. It's just weird that he says, see if you can make it through here. It makes it sound like he's intentionally training me to destroy his own... Stupid death machine. Well done, Sonic. You've learned how to navigate most of my death trap. Next, it's time for you to see if you can traverse this diabolical pathway. I mean, I guess he's saying, you know, that you can't. But it's it's peculiar. Aha, spinning tops. No way. Everyone knows that- Oh, for fuck's sake! Eggman likes to taunt Sonic. Sonic doesn't even remember who Eggman is. I feel like it's a very one-dimensional relationship they have. Get a load at this! Get a load at this! <laughs> See if you can make it. Ah! Oh, interesting. So you can get an extra point. Get Possibly. My rings! They fell through the floor. I need those to not die. It's not so much that Sonic's playing hard to get, as so much as Sim Sonic is simply hard to get See by nature of being an extremely fast Sonic. small mammal. I want to say mustelid, but they aren't mustelids, I don't think. They sure are something, though. There's definitely a, a thing that hedgehogs are. Unlike echidnas, which are marsupials. It was, th was there ever a porcupine in Sonic the Hedgehog? 
I don't rem I've, I've read a lot about the various Sonic the Hedgehog canons over the years, and I don't remember ever seeing a porcupine character, which is weird considering how many how many hedgehogs and echidnae there are. Get a load of this! Get a load of this! What is it now? Oh, it's lasers time. It's no use. Give up. Hmm, I wonder how you get through that without getting lasered. <laughs> See if you can make it through here, Sonic. Bonk, bonk, Take bonk, this. bonk. Spike the porcupine. Aha, fair enough. So there is a porcupine. Get a, load a bunch of the comics characters sort of made the made the leap into the games though, or at least a couple did. So it's a shame that there's no porcupine representation. No I can't believe this. Full systems, full power. Oh, this looks bad. Suddenly I have less capacity to fight the Eggman. I might still be able to beat the Walrus, though. It's no use. Give up. Ah, my rings. Ah! I am going to officially declare this boss infuriating. The fact that most of the time if it touches me, it just knocks me straight off the edge and I die instantly. Uh... Combined with how hard it is to- well, it's not difficult, but just like how limited the capacity to damage him is, is just irritating. Get a load of this. I do not wish to get his loads. Get load We've established that. Eggman's egg loads are beyond the purview of this channel, frankly. For all that I've been talking about his overpositor all day today. Get a load of this. Get a load of this. Is this guy even the final boss? I, mean, I know he's the final boss of Sonic's story. Aha! Uh -huh. uh -huh. See if you can make it through here, Sonic. I love his little jig, though. Like, I've been making fun of this boss fight the entire time because it's not great, but like the jig, the little wiggly dance he does. Oh well, bye. Time to restart this whole entire level over again from the beginning. Oh, it's only the okay. That's why even have a game over. If it just lets me restart the battle with four lives, that's... What's the difference between that and... Get a load of this. Just... You know, having the... Get a load of this. Having as many tries as you like. It seems like they're the same thing. Get a load of this. Get a load of this. Yeah, the music doesn't sound very Final Bossy, and it doesn't find very sound very Sonic-y either to me. This sounds like act, uh, like the end of Act 1 plot twist music from a Final Fantasy game. Which I'm basing on the fact that I've only really played like one modern Final Fantasy game, Final Fantasy 9. Um, although I have I have played a bunch of the old uh, pixely spritey one. Was that 4? Has he increased the number of attacks he does? Big laser. Aha! Uh -huh. uh -huh. <laughs> See if you can make it through here, Sonic. Take uh. Hmm. Get a load of this. I do not wish to. Get I simply would like for this boss fight to be done, though. Yeah, that's true, but um, I have to be moving pretty it's fast for it to work otherwise. Oh, well, I guess that's how you dodged that. <laughs> See if you can make it through here, Sonic. Take this. <sighs> what is it next? Spinning tops? Get a load of oh, we always have to do the laser time Get first. Like I know you're right, but yet my instinct is just to jump every time. I don't know 
why I suck at games today. Normally I refuse to ever even uh, entertain the notion that I might suck at video games, but... Ooh, I feel like I suck today. Like, this is for the most part a badly designed game. <laughs> um... Or possibly it's- oh shit, I forgot. No, I have to hit the guy. No! No. <laughs> Anyway, I was saying that games usually don't bother to, um... Get a well, actually, the voice acting in games is usually really badly, uh, achieved, this. as far as, like, artistic goals are concerned. This is one of my, you know, regular bugbears that I bring up all the damn time. Um... But, like, you know, voice actors usually aren't given voice direction, they aren't told why their character is saying a thing or where their intonations this. should be. So you get a lot of really weird line reads because people are reading a line in total abstraction of the meaning of whatever it is that they're supposed to be saying. But similarly, and this is a more subtle problem, but one that irritates me personally quite a lot. See if you can make it through here. Um, like the voices are not recorded or modified in such a way as to sound the way they ought to sound, uh, based on uh, what the character is doing or where they are. Someone who is far away uh, is recorded, you know, six inches from the microphone, just like everybody else, which means that every character's voice sounds like it's coming from very close to you, the player. See if you can make it through um, here, some games will go to the effort of having someone who's far away sound echoey and far away, which I always really appreciate when it happens, because it massively increases this immersion. This. Um, when you're not thinking about it, you don't necessarily really notice this. it, but if you, if you bring it up, or if it's forcibly brought to your attention by, for example, a character actually doing it properly for once. Um, oh, come on. Then it uh, is, is much more of a noticeable thing. This is like a this is like a eight stage boss fight where every single stage has the opportunity to one shot me, um, which I would call bullshit if it was a Dark Souls boss. So I think it's safe to call this one bullshit, even if I am also fucking up consistently. See that time, he, he stopped moving. <laughs> he stopped moving and let it happen. Sonic, this is your fault. I trusted you, Sonic. Get a load at this. Get a load at this. <laughs> hmm. Get a load at this. I was not expecting the final level Get and boss of this. the Sonic story to take an hour of this stream. I thought it would just be quickly done and then we could start the next story, but no. But no, Eggman has different opinions about how I should spend my time. Or indeed, the director of this video game, whose name I do not know and probably should have looked up. It's always fun to complain about Miyazaki-san when you are playing Dark Souls and you have gotten fucked up yet again. But I have no clue who developed this game beyond... Sega? Mr. Sega? You can make it through here, Sonic. Take this. Like, it's not particularly difficult to master, it's just that it will Get occasionally kill me this. beyond my capacity to uh, evade killing. <laughs> it's no use. Give up. I do kind of want to know what this attack does. You know, because that might provide some clue as to why it necessitates just exposing his face for me to headbutt it. Takashi Izuka, I see. I'm never going to remember that name. I'm bad enough at remembering names, even at the best of times. Oh. Alright, spin, spinny time. Oh, okay. Uh, hi. 
come down here and say that. Because, yeah, occasionally the, uh, the homing attack will just decide not to home in on him, I guess. Which is... Unforge. It's no use. Give up. There we go. So yeah, that advice about staying in the center and jumping straight up makes a lot of sense. I had misapprehended how it worked. I thought that the left hand spinning top went on the left hand side of the of the thing, and the right hand spinning top went on the right hand side of the thing. So I was trying to jump onto it pro like properly, like particularly. All right, final phase. Did I say unforge? That does sound like something I would say. He's not gonna get away with this. <laughs> it's no use. Give up. No way. I can't believe this. No way. I can't believe this. Like for reals. I. This was not. This what was a foregone conclusion. Is, something? I, I, is he? He looks like he's dying to me. This is not the behavior of a man who is about to survive. Hey, I'll play with you some other time. I do love the implication that Sonic has no idea the animosity that is directed at him by this man. Yeah, we're just having a fun time amongst friends. I will murder you, Sonic. Or indeed, as the iconic, uh, extremely chaotic cartoon that I watched as a kid, rather than the much more traditional Saturday morning cartoon of the Satam universe. Used to say, I hate that hedgehog! Well, I don't show up, don't oh, hell yeah! Oh, this slaps. Imagine 12 year old me bopping relentlessly to this. Is he. Is, is Sonic singing this song, or is there supposed to be? Or was there supposed? Was there supposed to? Um. Yeah. But he didn't say anything. They ran around, and he waggled his mouth, and no one said anything. Well, hmm, time to start the, the uh, Tales story and see the other side. Because uh, I do want to play through each of the stories because they're all different. Although, we did play the first two levels of Tales' story already and what we discovered is that Tales remembers events happening in the same sequence, but Tales remembers Sonic the Hedgehog saying very different things. Which is why I keep calling this a Rashomon, and I love that idea. I really find that delightful, but, um... It is, it is a, it is kind of a thing. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, they're naked already anyway. Does it make a difference? Like... But Sonic, the thing is, Sonic does have a personality, depending on what version of the, of the like, which era of the games you're experiencing. He's like, he's like a che cheeky attitude cartoon, cartoon character of the kind of classic uh, Mickey Mouse vibe uh, in the old 2D games. And then in the 3D games, they reboot him for the radical 90s audience, or, you know, the radical 00s audience, and they give him a, a badical tude. Um, he is the essence of uh, what like American teenagers in 2001 thought was cool. Um, or it, through the lens of, I guess, what middle-aged Japanese men thought was cool in 2001 as well. Which, you know, is interesting. But it is this very kind of like... Skateboards and... Uh, butt rock, you know? Kind of thing. Yeah, exactly. This, this, this song absolutely represents his personality. Whereas my favourite iteration of Sonic the Hedgehog is the one from the beautifully animated intro movie to Sonic CD. Uh, which is the main inspiration, actually, for the modern 2D Sonic, Sonic games that have been rebooted. Um, well, not rebooted, but, you know, 
Sonic Mania's intro was animated by Tyson Hesse, of course, who's a brilliant animator who was heavily inspired by those um, old 2D Sonic games and especially by the intro to uh, Sonic CD. So I actually had um, the Sonic Mega Collection on the GameCube when I was a teenager, which let me play all those old games I, I hadn't had my own copies of when I was a, when I was a younger kid. Um, and what what fascinated and entranced but also frustrated me was that that game it had a whole bunch of like really cool extra content including things like cover galleries for hundreds of issues of the Sonic the Hedgehog comic book so I would I would browse this stuff and I got this beautiful feeling of a kind of like a huge fascinating world that I could delve into and explore this whole vista opening up in front of me not quite connected to me. I couldn't actually go read the comics or become a part of this thing, but there is a sensation that I have experienced many times in my life. I don't know if this is a general human thing, um, as I am, after all, a robot created only to play video games for your benefit, but I did, um, I do occasionally get this mo moment of realizing that actually there's there's a vast array of something, a whole story, a huge story, and that other people really care about it and have been talking about it and developing it for a long time. Um, and uh, occasionally I'll, I'll, you know, I'll get interested in something and then there'll be this moment where it sort of unlocks for me and I, and I realize just how much stuff people have made about it and how many people have cared about it over such a long period of time. And it's this kind of like lovely, feeling um of but also a kind of like a i guess it's a bittersweet feeling this 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 sensation of how much there is and, and how much i don't know about it and how i haven't been a part of it but the other people have been a part of this whole thing you know for a long time anyway um in addition to that it had the full intro and outro uh videos the 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 hand animated uh, traditionally animated intro sequences for sonic cd it did not have Sonic CD. I wanted to, to, like, I wanted to play Sonic CD so fucking bad. And it was pretty much the only classic 2D Sonic game that was not on that disc. It was not available at all. So I used to just watch that over and over again. Oh, hey, um, Art, like, I know that you're feeling bad about that, but please bear in mind, I know about Tyson Hesse because of Boxer Hockey. I fucking loved Boxer Hockey. Um... And you know his various one-off stupid comics, like the the, <laughs> like the uh, you know he's like one of the head animators working on Sonic for Sega now, and he's like, yeah, okay, he got internet famous way before that by making an extremely silly and quite nasty like parody comic of Sonic the Hedgehog. It's like, it's fascinating how these things um, blend together. Oh, that's nice. I like this little this little. Why don't people do this anymore? I actually, I think I, I think I made this exact same complaint uh, in my let's play of Bayonetta at the end. There's a kind of a supplementary bonus content that you used to get in video games that you never get anymore. Things like um, animated credit scrolls with, you know, bloop like bloopers that have been animated for the characters in the game, or just fun photos of stuff happening, or you know bonus animations and silly bits of stuff that the developers clearly made while they were working on the thing. Anyway, you used to get a lot of that sort of thing in games and you just never ever do it anymore and I think that's a huge loss and I think it's emblematic of a lot of the negative ways that the industry has changed over the past 10 to 15 years. Anyway, all of that aside, let's uh, dip so back in. So, so far we've I think done two levels of Tails, which are basically the same as Sonic's first two levels. Um, So let's jump in and I guess play through the, this entire video game as someone with the voice of a, of a nine-year-old. Might be younger, actually. I like Tails' personal theme a lot better than uh, Sonic's. I wonder if I can actually remember where the next emerald was, since we found it in... Huh. Is this kid advocating suicide? <laughs> Alright, what do you say? Hello. Even I go home at night, I commute too, you know? I don't know who you are. I don't know why you're talking to me like you know me. Yes. 
So I'm not going to recap uh, the first couple of chapters of this game, but I'm also not going to talk to every NPC because I'll lose my fucking mind if I have to do try and do that. Um, but yeah, so there was definitely something hidden down in the sewers for Sonic. Is there something else? Bitch ass motherfucker! Every time, every time I forget about the, the taxi. So yeah, we found the thing at Mystic Ruins. I think the ouch. I think the next one we found was at the Casino Nights zone, which every one of these games has somewhere. Uh, but I'm also pretty sure I found the secret, you know, power ups and stuff before then. Maybe they're in different places for different characters. Let's see what the little magic fairy, whose explanation, whose existence is still unexplained, you says. Go to the casino area at nighttime. The train headed for the Mystic Ruins will be departing soon. Let's go to the casino area. I'm sure that people won't be weird about uh, an eight-year-old, an eight-year-old anthropomorphic animal walking in. Um, that's a completely normal thing to happen. Happens every day here on the planet of Mobius. There's no legislation whatsoever, which is fine because they don't actually charge you to play the games. So I guess it's less of a casino and more of like a family arcade kind of deal, like a like a what's it called? Like a <laughs> casino. This is open. The only way in is closed. Haha! I have solved your locked door puzzle. Come on, Tails! Oh, hey, okay. Oh wait, this is a race, of course. You made it. Um, Tails' action stages are all races hey, hey, instead hey. of the, the platforming that uh, Sonic's usually are. So... See you later, Tails. I don't know what happens if you lose the race, actually. Hey, Tails. So this stands to reason. Come on. Hmm. I, I am stuck. <laughs> okay, no, there we go. You made it. I think this Sonic has an almost malevolent, um, hey, hey, hey. like niceness to him. All right, tails. Like a, just a total, like just a totally hey, busted theory of mind. I don't think it ever occurs to him that other people might think something other than he's thinking. So everything is just a cool, fun adventure to him. Which then means, of course, that... Yeah! Oh, okay, that's it. That was easy. This is not a, this is not a casino, this is a trash compactor. That wasn't too bad. That could have been worse. See, I quite like it when, when Tails' whole deal becomes that he j like he's doing different things. Like in the sequel, Tails' uh, levels are all like mech, mech suit that? battles, which is great. The Chaos Emerald. Get away from there! Ah! Nighty night. <laughs> Eggman. <laughs> Eggman. So. Sonic's memory of this event is Eggman's. Uh, Sonic, what happened to the <sighs> Chaos Emerald? Uh, Eggman got one of them, but the other one's safe. Is it? He must be getting desperate. Now the Emerald count is two to one, and Eggman's winning. Let's get a move on. This isn't. I don't remember it happening this way. Oh, hey, there's Cream the Rabbit, the world's most unfortunately named cartoon character. <laughs> Soon. Cream the rabbit, don't mind if I do. Alternatively, cream the rabbit, please don't. Um, the fuck am I talking about? Anyway, I, I'm pretty sure the last time we saw that cutscene, Sonic was holding the gem and uh, Eggman knocked it out of Sonic's grasp. So I'd like to believe that um, it was in fact Sonic's fault that this happened. And Sonic remembers it that way because, wow, Eggman's a dick! I hate that guy. Why is he always such an asshole? 
Meanwhile, uh, Tails remembers it as being just Tails fucking up because he's got this insecurity complex going on. I may be reading too much into this. I don't know how much of a foundation there is in the text. But, um, you know, if we can't have fun interpreting things, why, why are we, why are we even alive, really? Hello. I am the same age as you, but not the same species. I waited a long time, but my dad never came home last night. He's always like this when he's busy. I wish he'd come home soon. A, um, a harrowing and brutal indictment of salaryman culture there from uh, the most innocent of sources. Hmm. Let's see. The last time we used a magical uh, a magical key to open a magical door in the mystical ruins in order to obtain a magical gem. It resulted in Eggman immediately stealing that gem from us. I'm sure it'll be fine this time. I love to explore mountain ranges that collapse inexplicably and without uh, reason. Also, there's a, there's a fucking train to this place. There's like, this is straight up a train station on like a network. And yet all the explorers here are like, this is mysterious, untamed wilds. We don't know where anything is or what's up with anything or what the deal is. This is what we in the business call an inconsistency. Should I be critiquing the internal logic of a game for five-year-olds? I don't know. Oh wait, hang on. So all of this just recently fell from the sky? But why was there already a train line here then? I suppose... Hmm. Wait, so the Mystic Ruins just recently fell from the sky. Why did that happen? Do we find out in someone else's story? Knuckles is perhaps? Hi Mavarinthia, always nice to see you. I still never figured out what this thing is. I feel like I should be able to plant something in it. Maybe Knuckles can climb up and find out, or maybe his levels will be elsewhere entirely. Everyone loves Knuckles. The cool guy! I'd like to believe that, um... So, like, I assume that the uh, platform at the bottom of the train station that lets you access the water, which is instant death to every other character, is there so that Biggs the cat can do his fishing minigame. Um, which therefore implies to me, or at least I would like to believe, that he... Um, that the train station already existed, and it was just for him, and he petitioned the local council over many years to let them to let him build his own special little station just so that he could do the best fishing. Uh, and eventually they let him and so he built his own big wooden platform and hooray. Now he gets to Come on, Tails. Uh, fish whenever he likes Tails. and conveniently for the archaeological community of Station Square or whatever that place is called. You made it. Is it just me, or is Sonic the Hedgehog incredibly condescending in the in the race levels? Come on, person who I'm racing with, you can do it! That's kind of what I meant about him having an almost malevolent kind of kindness. Like, everything he says is kind of within his own, his own context. There's no conception of, that anyone else might be thinking anything else or up to anything else. Um, I think he just assumes that everyone likes him and he likes everyone and it's fine. But also there's a fundamental assumption combined into that, that he is better than everyone else. Which may be true, but he shouldn't say it. Oh, okay. Uh, hmm. This is a bit of a problem. Hooray! <laughs> Hooray! Yeah, wow, great! I'm so much better at, the, at this than you, Tails. Wow, you really suck. But don't worry, I'm still your friend. 
I love you even though you're not good at snake at sco sno sc sco norb ding. Um. Okay, Tails is better at cool snowboard tricks. I will give him that for free. See you later, Tails. Sonic is kind of what from what I've seen, Sonic is terrible to Amy only in that Sonic does not want to be around Amy. Amy is terrible to Sonic in that Sonic does not want her to does not want to be her girlfriend, uh, her boyfriend. He wants her to leave him alone, and he, she is absolutely stalking the shit out of him. At the very least, uh, Sonic and Amy is a highly uh, toxic relationship. Like, I wouldn't call it... What's the word? I can't remember. Anyway, but like, it's a super toxic relationship, but it goes both ways, like... There's nothing quite like having the voice of a six-year-old tell you that you that, that you didn't do too badly. Like cheesy crazy. I could have done better. So there are bonus versions of all the levels, but if I play the bonus version of all the levels in the game, in addition to playing through them the normal way, we will be here literally all forever. And I want to get to the sequel. The train headed for Station Square will be departing soon. Wait, hang on. Amy... Amy is only eight? I thought I thought Sonic was like 14 and Amy was like 14. She sound, She does not sound like a 12-year-old. A, a and she doesn't talk, really talk like a 12-year-old, although I guess the things she says are the kinds of things a 12-year-old might say. I wonder if, is there ever anything in this house? Because I've been in here a few times and I have never ever seen anything. Oh, aha, an emblem. Which I'm definitely not attempting to collect all of, but you know, if you spot one, why not? Bum -ba bing bong bing. Oh, I mean, I, I'm I'm intentionally not asking questions for the most part because uh, I'm well aware that um, that the Sonic Sonic game. <laughs> I have been informed that, uh, contrary to my belief, the Sonic uh, 2D and 3D games are not separate continuities, but all take place in the same meta continuity where everything is true, even the contradictory stuff, which I I Loki uh, think is absolutely radical and super cool. But also, it does mean that I can critique the plots relentlessly for making no hey, goddamn Michael, sense. What's up? Hi Knuckles, what's going on? Check out how cool I can punch. Don't mess with me now. Just hand over the emeralds you have. Quick. Knuckles, meanwhile, sounds about 30. Is Knuckles the one who's 16? How do I how do I hurt Knuckles? I don't have like a Oh hang on, I have a spin attack. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I forgot about oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Give it your best shot. Give it your best shot. Oh no. Is that it? Nice. Good to see that the world's most important mystical protector is a dipshit who can't fight. <laughs> and they're all mine. I've been waiting for you to fuck up, Sonic. Sonic's not even here. <laughs> You two are fumbling idiots. You know that. Oh, Sonic is here. I was about to ask. Hey, those are the Chaos Emeralds. You are so easily tricked. Bro, your job is All to keep I track of those. You to bring it to me. What the heck is he talking about anyway? Don't you realize when you've been tricked? Tricked? No one makes a fool out of me. Wait wow, go, Sonic. Sonic's memory of his own behavior uh, here is somehow more. far worse than Tails's. As in, his behavior is worse. 
Come forth. Sonic remembers himself as more of an asshole than Tails does. Does this perhaps reflect Tails' naivety and his refusal to consider Sonic a bad friend? Explain to me what honest bully means. Is that a sex thing? It feels like a sex thing. Oh, it's this boss, I guess. I can't remember how to fight this. Oh, it's that easy. Smishy smashy. It's nice to see that despite the fact he has vastly higher intelligence, Tails has learnt a thing or two from Sonic the Hedgehog, such as that all problems can be solved via a vigorous application of the forehead. My friend taught me to do headbutts! This thing should go splonch. I feel like that would be a good transliteration of the noises it makes. I have heard that much like Piccolo in Dragon Ball Z, um, the uh, that um, Knuckles is the the character in the franchise that like black fans often like identify with or as. Um, I don't particularly know the basis of, of that, like, I'm, I'm, I'm super white and I'm not qualified to comment on pretty much any goddamn thing for clarity. I am merely reporting that I have heard people say that they identify as, um, or that they, they found, like, the strongest, stronger identification with, with Knuckles. Is Knuckles an indigenous person? This is like, like this isn't Earth. This is Mobius. What is? Oh yeah, that's a good point. He does have he does have something analogous to Dreads, and his music is rap themed. You're quite right. Oh, it's like old school hip hop um, beats. I didn't know his VA was black. That's cool. Okay, I mean that makes a lot of sense. I wonder how much of that is true of of, of Piccolo in Dragon Ball Z as well. Until we meet again, my friends. Whose theme is this? Is this Eggman's theme? Because this is like solid funk. Eggman's theme would be appropriate to like Bayonetta. Yeah. You guys go. I have some unfinished business to take care of. No problem, Knuckles. We'll take care of everything here. Come on! Let's get going! I do remember the Echidnas being vaguely tribal themed, but I don't remember any of them being in any of the games except for Tikal, who's only been in this one for like... I think literally two seconds so far? Um, I guess maybe she shows up more later in, in Knuckles' story. I do remember being very confused as to who she was supposed to be in the sequel, because she's only in the, the multiplayer mode of that. What's the matter? What are you waiting for? Sonic! Wait here for a second! Oh, this is the second time he gets shot down, right? They didn't have the cool cutscene of the, the Thunderbirds style uh, runway reveal. That's a shame. You know, they'll show us the same cutscene twice with different dialogue, but they won't show us the cool bits? Huh, interesting. Is that just the noise it makes when Sonic jumps?
Also, I'm quieting down a little bit because my jaw is seriously paining me. That's why I am suddenly quieter, in case anyone is wondering. figure out how to hit these things. <laughs> like, I'm not terrible at shmups, but... It'd be nice if I could get more than two points. But yeah, no, that makes sense about them being based on uh, an indigenous culture. I simply did not know beyond sort of, like, vague... What's it called? Like, uh... You know... Like, the fictional culture in the game is vaguely themed on stuff, and I didn't put two and two together, but obviously. Uh, this being Mobius doesn't change the fact that they might be based on real, real, real world cultures. Uh, anyway. I assume that this is still going to follow the same uh, trite path that so many video games make, where you, even if you 100% ace a level and do extremely well, the cutscene at the end inexplicably shows you failing, which I always thought was like the most irritating letdown in the world, especially if you fail before that cutscene and you and it you know fails you and makes you start over. It's not as bad as the examples you would get in like um, like a GTA type game where you, you would be required to beat a race for a plot. And then, you know, for plot reasons you have to you have to do the fastest time on this lap or whatever. And then you successfully do the fastest time in the lap, and, and if you fail, you have to start over, or quit. But then if you succeed, in the cutscene, at the end, you fail. That's just a fundamental disrespect for player agency and that kind of thing, and if you can't simply write around it, then maybe you should think about restructuring your narrative. Wait, this isn't Mobius? You told me this was all the same planet. The planet in the in the original games is absolutely Mobius, isn't it? The 2D games? When I said this previously, you said that I was saying the, the 2D games were on Mobius, and you said that these games are in the same continuity. Is this not the same planet? I specifically asked about whether or not... Whether or not they'd been transplanted from planet. So is Mobius only in the comic, then? Because I thought for sure that at least in Sonic CD it was Mobius, and therefore by extension... The other ones. Boo! Boo on that! Is this our uh, Evangelion style tragic backstory uh, cutscene? Loki, it has that kind of energy. Wait, hang on, no, it's. I don't want it to be Earth. I want it to be animal, animal world planet. Because if it's Earth, where is Station Square? Is it in America? Is it in Japan? Is it, is it in Fictionalopolis? Boo, boo on that. I'm going to keep calling it Mobius and I don't care. I'm going to reject your continuity. Mm, wow, that dream brought back memories. I owe so much to Sonic. Sonic! I owe so much to Sonic. He taught me how to walk through jungle corridors and literally nothing else. Hmm. Wonder where he went. Sure hope he's alright. The tornado's not powerful enough. If I'm gonna get that egg carrier, I need to finish my prototype. It needs a Chaos Emerald to work! Hmm. Looks like I'd better find one fast. Interesting. Hey, wait, hang on a second. Sonic, our Earth has a giant planetoid orbiting it too. Wait, what are you talking about? What do you think the moon is? Do not tell me you forgot all about our beautiful sky wife. I thought you were trying to trick me. I thought you were trying to do some kind of clever double meaning so as to cause me to forget what the fuck I'm talking about. 
Um, anyway, I normally try to stream for two hours and I stream... Uh, currently my schedule is consistent and it is Tuesday, Thursday and Saturday evenings at 7pm UK time so please make sure you can join me for those if you want to. My jaw and teeth are absolutely killing me due to having had the fifth, I think, or possibly fourth session of a ostensibly one and done root canal the other day so I'm gonna end it here. If you're watching and you haven't already, give me a follow or go check me out on YouTube or ideally both because I do in-depth Let's Plays, although I'm sort of on hiatus due to my various horrible problems. Other than that, thanks for watching. Thanks to my Patreon patrons. Thanks uh, for everything. Go give me follows. Oh, and especially recommend me to other people. I haven't exactly performed to my best today, but sometimes I'm pretty good. Sometimes I'm all right at this shit. I hope you had fun. And I appear to have <laughs> I appear to have lost a follower by saying all of that. So okay. Alright, I see how it is. Goodbye. <laughs> That's all from me for today.